的有多快？
very quiet, very pleasant when you speak to them. They keep to themselves. Never heard an argument or anything over there? Never. Okay. Did they ever mention if they've ever been in a fight or having bad days to you? No. No? No, the, the neighbors, we, we really don't talk much. I mean, Cheryl and I do because we're the same age. They're so much younger. There's not a lot in common. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, was it yesterday morning, Monday morning that you went to the gym? I go every day. Okay, so then, uh, if you remember yesterday morning, you went out. Um, That's when I noticed the little truck. Okay, where was it? Was it in the driveway or on the street? No, it was on the street. It was, it was between the two houses. Right about in front of my tree. I know. They said it's a little truck or the, um... It's a smaller truck than what's normally there. Yeah. Okay, it's like that side or the small one? Okay. No camper. And that was a gray one? Yeah. And you think his his normal truck's like a 2500 yeah, or 3500? Yeah, it's a bigger truck. But both gray? Yeah, but different shades of gray. Okay. The other little one, was it darker or lighter? I believe it was lighter. Okay. Weld County is just, I had to write a letter yesterday <coughs> for Weld County to approve uh, to pay for her treatment. Oh. Okay. And then it's got to go through a board because it's kind of unusual. Yeah. Um, since she's not an eyewitness. Right. But uh, it's not like there was not going to be any opposition to it. It's just a process. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so it's, when you go through the text messages, Tammy and probably Stacy will be there. Okay. So you guys know 
each other. Um, or if they reach out to you, you know that they're not the media. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me your card? Yeah, really I got everyone. Okay, I just Thank and now you. with this new phone, it's like I got so many numbers that I, I'm sure I can so figure out who they are. I need to just deal with that. Like, if you guys can help me get all of my contacts from this one. So I can get a tech guy maybe to help help me because I'm bad at it too. They gave me instructions. So this is your old phone. This is the one that I use for communication. This is the one that's going to you guys. Okay. This one's mine. This is nicer. I know. <laughs> iPhone suck. I'm kind of relieved to have this. Back. Okay. So you're gonna you want to move contacts from there to there. That's all I want to do. Once you guys do that, then you guys can have this phone. I mean, he gave me a, a way to do it, so I think I need to connect to Wi-Fi and then I need to download this app. And then I think once I download it, I can sync it up. And I need to just download the app on both phones. So let me get a guy who knows about Wi-Fi. Is your password still 653038? Yes, yeah, that hasn't changed. So that's going to be that one. And which which one is getting all the new text messages? Your new phone? Mm -hmm. I only got a few. And then like now I get what you're saying. Like they're out of order, they're scrambled, they're missing. They don't make sense. I got super excited when I saw them because I was like, maybe it'll be all of them, but it's not. So. <clears throat> Maybe what I'll ask, we have a device that maybe we can download that too. This one too, all right. I mean, I don't know if that'll work, but we can try it. Here's mine. Thank you. Thank you. And I kind of know how to get a hold of us after hours. I'm going to do that too. I appreciate you that. that. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you getting her a spare phone? Is that she you? has her own spare phone, but when she linked her accounts, a bunch of messages between her and Chris were recovered on her new phone. Oh, okay. So I'm going to probably just celebrate right now. Oh, okay. On, on her new phone, so we don't have to take all her phones. Yeah. Okay. Are you good in here? Perfect. Okay. Do you have the monitor or anything? Please. Okay. Okay. So after. Anadarko, this is Luke. Hi, Luke. This is Agent Lee calling from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm just down here in Frederick helping with the missing person case. Okay. And I was just wondering if I could ask you some questions about Chris. Yeah, let me, uh, give me like two seconds so I can get pulled over on the side of the road. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So Luke, how long has, so are you uh, Chris's supervisor, or what is your title? Yeah, I'm his direct supervisor, yeah. Direct supervisor, okay. And what is your title? I'm a production foreman. Production foreman, okay. And how long has Chris worked for you? Uh, since, would have been April of 2016, when I first came back over to this group, and he was already in the, in the group. Okay. And we're, so right now we're kind of trying to scour his cell phone and uh, GPS records from his truck. Okay. Can you kind of tell, like, explain to me, like, Monday morning, where would he go to go to his job site? So, first thing Monday, we were working, or we had planned on working uh, out by Rogan, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but yeah. it's east of... Uh, East of Brighton, about 30 miles or so. Okay. And uh, we had a couple wells over there that we were trying to get running, and he was headed straight out there. Okay. Did he ever show up there? Yes. Okay. Do you know about what time he got there? Uh, off the top of my head, without looking at his GPS, no, I don't. Okay. So he shows that about 6.53 he arrived at an address near Kingsburg. Would that be close by? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that would be... Uh, probably 10, 15 minutes away right there. Okay. And then how long were you guys there? So I was not out on location. Okay. Um, my guys work for the most part, you know, they're not supervised directly. If they have problems, they call me, but they're self-sufficient, so. Okay. Um, he was, my understanding is he was out there pretty much all day on what's called the Survey Ranch. Um, Servi, is that what you said? Yeah, it's C-E-R-V-I. 
through the ranch. Okay. Um, we have several wells out there, and him and a few of my other uh, guys were out there pretty much all day with him. Okay. Until he until he left to go home, he called me to let me know that Shannon was couldn't get a hold of her. Okay. And then, can you tell me how your GPS works? Like, is it when you start your car, or when the car moves, or what triggers that? Uh, so both. So when the ignition um, is basically when the keys turned on, the GPS is on. So whenever the vehicle is started, I mean, it records stops and starts and how long the trip was, how long they drove, those sorts of things. Okay. And then can you kind of explain to me um, the conversation that he had, I believe, with you on the 7th about maybe splitting up from his wife or... Yeah, so, well, and he didn't say necessarily that they were going to be split, and he just told me that they were having some having some issues that they were trying to work out. Um, he did notify me that he would be, he, if I saw anything goofy on his um, geotab, which is his GPS, that uh, it may be because he was going to be staying with a friend. Okay, did he give you any indication who that friend would be? He did not. Okay, how close are you to um, Chris? I mean, he, he's, he's uh, one of 13 guys that I have working for me. Okay. But like, like I said earlier, we've been working together for a little over two years, so. Like, you know, are you guys been, going to barbecues on the weekends or, like, no, concerts? No. or Okay. It's strictly work. Strictly work, okay. Who would you say he's the closest to at work? Troy McCoy. Okay. That's in my in my group. He's another uh, one of the guys that works for me. Okay. Um, but I would say he is he is probably closest with Troy. Okay. Did you were you aware that he went to a Rockies game on Sunday? I was not. Okay. Do you have any idea if, like, he has, like, a girlfriend or if he thought his wife had a boyfriend or anything like that? He never indicated or said anything to me that would, that made me think that. He never came out and said one way for him or his wife. Okay. And did he ever go into any details at any time about what kind of troubles that they had? No, and, and I, it's one of those deals, you know, being that it was at work. Sure. You know, if it's going to affect him at work, then I would like to know about it. But I didn't pry on anything. I wasn't going to dig into his personal life or anything. Okay. Do you know, um, as far as, like, his work truck, now, can he drive that, like, on the weekends and when he's not working? Or is that pretty much to be driven while he's working? Yeah, that's just, just for work. Just for work. Okay. Yeah. And he does work. Weekend, not as much anymore. But he does uh, on occasion. He will come out for on the weekend to work. Okay. So he would be driving it then. But and as far as like, um, if there's like addresses on his GPS that aren't don't look like they're like cell site, you know, or well sites, um, could he take his truck to like pick up dinner before he got home, or you know, run an errand? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so long as they're not driving. 40 miles out of their way to, to go somewhere. I kind of, you know, life happens. We got all our families to take care of, so if they need to run errands on their way home, I have no problem at all with that. Okay. Um, what about, I, sorry, go ahead. That's kind of been, that's kind of our company policy. There's nothing really set in stone on that, but it's just, hey, you don't use your pickup for anything but work, but, you know, if you got to swing by a kid's ball game or groceries or dinner on the way home, go ahead. Okay. And as far as um, having other people in his truck, is there a rule against that? Um, if they're Anadarko employees or embedded contractors within the company, no. Um, we don't generally let, um, we're not the military or law enforcement, but I don't know what other words to use. We don't generally let civilians in to, in the, to ride along with them in the vehicles. 
So could he go pick up his kids from school, like by policy, or? If he needed to, yes. Okay. Yep. Do you know, are you aware if his wife or kids have ever been in his truck? Not to my knowledge, no. He's never said anything to me anyway. Okay. And do you know what he drives when he's not at work? I do not know. Okay. Do you have um, any idea about his financial situation? No, I do not. Okay. Um, have you ever talked? Has he ever talked about his wife? Uh, a little bit. Most, more often times than not, he has daughters, and I have daughters, so we talk about kids more than we talk about wives. But okay. Uh, I know both of his his kids were have been pretty sick over the past couple of years, so you know he would talk a little bit about the stress that that puts on him and and his wife especially, but. Okay. Never really got into any detail or anything like that. Did he tell you that his wife was pregnant? Yes. Okay. And what was, did he, what did he, how did he act when he told you that? Uh, he wanted me to kind of keep it secret for a little while because he hadn't told hardly anybody yet. I don't know that he actually even told his family yet, but he was, when he told, talked to me about it, he was pretty excited. Okay. And the, on the 7th or whenever that was um, that he talked about having some issues with his wife and maybe going to stay somewhere else, has he ever talked prior to that about having issues with his wife? Um, no. Has anyone else at work talked about it? If they have, they've never talked to me about it. Okay. Did you have any suspicion that maybe he was having some issues? Not until he actually came to me, closed the door, and said, you know, and told me that at that first time. Okay. And where did you start seeing his um, GPS being logged um, after he said that? Um, he, so, per our discussion, I told him, if you're going to go somewhere, just shoot me a text or give me a call, let me know. That way I know to look for it, because I don't check those guys' GPS every day. Okay. Um, so I, until today, I had not pulled up his GPS. Had he ever sent you a text saying he was staying somewhere else besides his house? No. Okay. Were you aware that his wife was on a trip? Uh, yeah, he told me that she was going out of state. I can't remember the dates on it, but... Okay, is that why he asked for time off of work, or... Okay. Do you know, like, who he's close to outside of work? I don't. Okay. And when he's at work, like, does he, um, he has a personal phone and a work phone, it looks like. Does he usually have both of them with him, have you seen, or do you know? Uh, I don't know. A lot of my guys do that, and they will carry both of them at work, but... Yeah, I know he carried them both at work. I can't say that. Okay. Have you had any, like, disciplinary issues with him, or...? No, he's been... Other than he's a little quiet and reserved, so sometimes i gotta got to try conversation out of him. Okay. Um, but no, he has been nothing but a good employee. Okay. Have you ever seen him lose his temper or anything? Do you have any concerns about him? I don't. Um, other than, you know, just being concerned that he's... for what he's going through right now. Okay. But I mean, it, you know, I don't... I have never seen or heard anything that would make me concerned about Chris. Okay. Have you talked to him since all of this has happened? Yeah, so I talked to him last night and then again this morning. Okay. Well, I guess it was this afternoon. Okay. And how did he seem when you talked to him? Um, he, but Chris is somewhat of an 
introvert. He does not like the attention. Um, he, he actually he wanted to come back to work. Um, we made the call not to let him just because we work in an inherently dangerous business. And I, for his safety as well as um, the safety of those around him, I just was like, I, if your head's not completely in the game, I, I can't have you here. Right. So we kind of came up with a game plan uh, to get him to come back to work tomorrow. And uh, our HR department said they just they weren't comfortable made with that decision, so he, we're going to give him a couple days off. Okay. Does he have any theories about where his wife and kids could be? No, I mean, the, from the way he described it to me, he said, Luke, it's like something out of a, out of a freaking movie or a TV show. He said, all of her stuff is still at the house. The kids' stuff is still at the house. It's just like she disappeared. Okay. What it, what exactly did he tell you about what happened? Um. Originally yesterday he came or he called me. Uh, I believe he was already on his way home at that point, but he called me and just said, "Hey, listen, I can't get a hold of my wife. None of her friends can get a hold of her. I gotta go go home and see." what's going on um i just at that point told him okay no big deal uh just let me know if there's anything you need or you know if you need to take a day off whatever you need just let me know um my philosophy with my guys is the family comes first and and uh i try and always implement that with them so he knew that but um i didn't hear anything back from him until I texted him last night, uh, I would say probably nine-ish, mm -hmm. just to ask him, you know, hey, any update, just making sure everything was okay. He called me back immediately and just was like, they're still gone, um, the police have came and searched my house, they had a warrant, they searched the vehicles, um, and he even talked about coming into work 